Now, if you want something new to try for dinner, but maybe don't want to leave the country, you might only have to drive as far as Lewisburg, where they're serving up some French-inspired cuisine at the French Goat. We drew our inspiration from the classic French and put our own spin on things. It's the fresh perspective that locals can't get enough of. The French goat brings something different to the area, of course. We're really used to Southern comfort, and the goat is tying together Southern comfort with French cuisine. It's doing something really special that hasn't been done before, and I know that I'm really thankful that it's here. They even keep the French bistro theme alive in their decor. This home turned neighborhood hotspot dates all the way back to 1897. So it's a little bit upscale, but not too much in terms of approachability. We have steak, fish, seafood, so there's really something for everybody. It's the food and casual dining that Arthur and his business partner, Deb Reporter, had envisioned for the restaurant since it opened almost two years ago. There have been people that I've spoken with who have said this rivals some of the best fresh restaurants, French restaurants they've experienced anywhere in the U.S. Um, and to have this in our small town is a real honor. It's a real gem. One dish the goat's known for is their slow braised short ribs. We have a slow braised short rib. We slow cook it for 48 hours. Serve it with a gratin potato, so very thin potatoes with cream and cheese. Some roasted mushrooms and we top it with a beautiful Bordelais sauce that the chef has. Another mainstay at the GOAT is any kind of seafood. The uh, salmon dish is pan-seared Scottish salmon, and we have a, a leek fricassee, so we saute up some leeks, and it's topped with a beautiful smoked tomato sauce that the chef came up with on his own, and uh, it's really, really delicious. Fish is really, really popular no matter when we do fish. So this is the one fish that people seem to really love is salmon, so we have that on the menu all the time. Those extra sauces really, they add so much to it. Nice uh, saltiness, but really good flavor still in the meat. If you're tasting food, it should, you know, it should be like... He does an incredible job of sourcing, and his menu is always really eclectic. And if you can't just pick one favorite, their seasonal menu changes several times throughout the year.